till the day I die. Here's what I got for my 21st birthday. I'm documenting this because I loved watching these videos as a kid. And maybe it will give another 21 year old ideas on what to ask because I didn't really have a birthday list this year. But the gifts I got are so good and so thoughtful and I just love all of them. And I'm super grateful and not bragging. Oh my god, I feel like a real YouTuber. But both my parents got me this new MacBook. Um, I've had my old one since I was 15 or 16 and now I'm 21. So I needed an update and this is the 2024 one um, in the color Starlight. I got it because my Apple Watch is also Starlight, so now they're sisters. So nice to have a computer that doesn't need to be plugged in all the time to work. So I'm very grateful and this has just made my life a lot easier with my internship and everything. The other thing I got for my family was a little candle. This is a wild fig scented candle uh, because I used to buy mine from Muji and they were super cheap and they were really good. But Muji shut in Stockholm. It smells really nice and I'm just going to keep this in my bathroom. I always like to have a candle lit in the bathroom and guests come over it makes it look like I do that all the time when I really don't. Should I say partner? No, ew. What should I say? Boyfriend. Gifts from my boyfriend. Um, he is your boyfriend. I know, but it just feels so like, oh, like my boyfriend. You know? He is. I know he is. Hello. You don't think I know that? Okay. Anyway, so he got me this MAC lip liner. So that's very thoughtful and it's something I can use like every single day and so really like it's like the perfect brown for my skin Although it's so nice that I'm kind of scared to use it because every time I sharpen it, it will become less So I kind of don't want to use it. He got me flowers, which I will put a picture here But they were like the centerpiece of my birthday celebration pink and white roses and they were so cute And then he also sent me a gift card to a bookstore and I bought and books are really expensive in Sweden, so I really appreciate that. And uh, I bought the Atlas 6, which has been on my to read forever. Now it's a series, so I, I like reading series because I can go back to that universe whenever I want. At the same bookstore, they were having a sale, so I picked up a couple of pencil pouches as well, which I managed to get within the gift card. So this little leathery one um, for my purse, and this one is a really great size to just have like... Hand, hand cream, sanitizer, lip gloss, all that stuff. And it's just so little, like it's really thin as well. So it fits well in my purse. This little rubbery pink one, cause I just thought it was so cute. And I love the texture of it. Um, just to, I got a small one to just have like for uh, pens and stuff for uni. I also had one of those from Muji. And when I went to go take my Swedish language placement test, I dropped it and it just snapped in half and it was just the weirdest thing ever but i have a replacement now oh wait yeah before i get into the gifts from my friends my dad also got me a gift and this is something he does every year but every year he does a donation in my name this year he went and he bought a bunch of stationery like geometry boxes and notebooks and pencils and stuff and like made little sets of them and then he gave them out to this guy who in india teaches kids on the side of the road like it's a school but it's just on the roadside because those kids can't go to like a school school so he he just sits with them he, he teaches them everything and he sent me a video of the kids like sitting with their little stationary packs and being like happy birthday to me and I, yeah it was just really cute but that was that was my favorite gift even though i love all my gifts but that was my favorite gift of the year from one of my friends i got this mindfulness coloring book and it's so cool because it has numbers which i love because part of what's overwhelming to me about these adult coloring books is that the possibilities are endless because the drawings are so detailed, right? Like, I like that I have numbers that I need to fill out and then I can kind of see the picture that emerges. So this is very nice for me. I will definitely be taking this to Paris and I'm going to use this. My friend who got me the coloring book also got me this little candle holder that is shaped like a fish because I'm a Pisces and it's blue because I love blue and it's glass. So it's like water and beautiful and I can keep a little tea light in it. And I almost feel like I want to take this to Paris too, even though I, I'm going there for four months. I don't really need to decorate my apartment, but it would just be like a little piece of me going with me. Like, it's just so like, I love it. And maybe I can light the candle in this while I use a coloring book. Maybe they're meant to be used together. But this is just such a cute touch to my room. Like it just, I just love it. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels so me. One of my guy friends got me this huge sangria from Spain. Like this is fully a liter of 
Spanish sangria and I'm excited to try it. I don't think I've ever had sangria before, um, at least one that wasn't homemade. Maybe this will be more authentic because it's from Spain, but yeah, <laughs> this is this is a really good gift. Two of my guy friends uh, got me this little gift set from uh, the body shop and this is also so nice. It's the almond milk scent, which was so good because I had the Shea perfume, like the Shea butter one. It smells so bad. Do not buy it. It is not good. So I'm happy they got the almond one, not the Shea, because I, I don't really like the smell of the Shea. So this set has a hand cream. It has a body yogurt, a body, like a shower cream, and then a little loofah. And this is also so perfect for my exchange semester because I don't want to carry like full sizes of everything because it's only four months. So this is perfect. Like this is a shower in a box so that was a really really useful and really nice smelling luxurious gift this gift is from uh one of my girlfriends and she got me a so first she painted me this little painting and it's an island with little red swedish houses and the sunrise and the reason this painting is so special is because i went on a cruise with her and a couple of other friends in december to estonia and when we were there we woke up early on the day we were coming back to stockholm and we saw the sunrise and we were all standing out on the on the deck and it was like one degree but we were all like wearing our jackets standing with coffee watching the sun come up around on the islands and the archipelago as we came back into sweden and that was like one of my most special memories ever and she knows how much i love the archipelago so she took one of the pictures i had taken and posted on my story she kept it and she painted it for me so now i can have that day and that memory on my wall forever and i also think that it just matches my word map and everything i've got going on color scheme wise really well so that was so cute and the fact that she put in the time to make this was just adorable she also got me a disposable camera and i'm so happy about this because i've got a disposable camera every year for my birthday since i turned 18 and i have an album of like i use the camera slowly over the year and this is just perfect like i can take this to paris she's a genius and she got me this and she said that the box of the disposable camera wasn't pretty so she painted the box for me and she painted like a souvenir for the future and the Eiffel Tower because she's also going on exchange to Paris with me and then she painted like some water lilies vibes going on here like each side of the box she cut out a piece of paper and like she painted it and stuck it on like that's so thoughtful just because she thought the packaging wasn't cute enough for a gift and then so I'm actually gonna keep this box even though I'm gonna, I've taken the camera out of it obviously to use it but I'm gonna keep the box I think she got me with these little macarons uh, so you can tell there's a little bit of a French theme to this gift because we're headed to France together. But these are little macarons, which are chocolate, salted caramel, strawberry, and pistachio flavored. And they're like, the box is so cute that I don't want to open them. And I don't want to eat them, but like, look, they're so cute. The next thing was from another one of my girlfriends and she got me this Swedish summer strawberry and rhubarb aperitif and cocktail mix. And this looks so yummy and like so summery. So <laughs> I have some sangria and some Swedish summer mix. That was really cute and girly. I love strawberry flavored things. I also got this pair of earrings. And this was one of my guy friends and his girlfriend picked them out. And she's probably not watching this, but shout out to you for picking these up because these are so cute. And these are from a little crystal shop because he doesn't live in Stockholm. And I've actually been to that crystal shop when I was on holiday where he lives. And... It was just so cute and i bought i remember i bought a rose quartz for vidish from there so he went to the same shop and he got these they're supposed to increase my creativity and passion for my work and they're just really cute and they're very wearable because they're so like little and i'm actually wearing another pair of earrings from the same shop that my mom already had but so we love that shop clearly but they're just super cute and like i love dangly little earrings and i like that the hook is long so i don't have to worry about them falling off that was really thoughtful and he also got me something else with them he got me these little marshmallows that are shaped like little chickens like if you can see i don't want to open them because i'm saving them for easter because they're easter themed but these are little chickens with orange these are so cute and the packaging is like i'm gonna save that for my scrapbook it has little bunnies on it like this is a this is 10 out of 10 like this this alone would have been the perfect gift but with the earrings it was like you nailed it one of my friends got me this bag which i need to show you guys because this is the most gorgeous bag ever it looks like this 
and it actually has my stuff in it because I was going to take it to uni. I'm actually filming this video because I couldn't make it to uni because of public transport problems. So I had to come home at 9.30 a.m. because there just wasn't any trains. And so I was like, I might as well film my what I got for my birthday video. So this is the bag. It's open right now. But when you zip it up, it's got it's a little bit like puffy. It's from Uniqlo. It's their new bag. And I love my purple Uniqlo purse. So I know that this one's going to last me for ages. And this is a little bit bigger. It's a shoulder bag. Yeah, it looks it looks like this when I'm carrying it. Like it just looks so great on my arm. Like it just looks so good. And it also fits my laptop perfectly and a water bottle and a snack. So it's the perfect uni bag. So I'm very spoiled. So that's my gift from one of my girlfriends. Um, yeah, that's everything I got for my birthday. To wrap up this video, I hope you got some inspiration for your birthday or if it's just me watching this in the future, you remember what a great 21st birthday you had and to all my friends if you're watching this you're all gift giving geniuses because why are all these gifts so perfect i need to take notes but i'm very happy i'm very excited to use everything and yeah that's the video